mistakes you should avoid on your trip to Japan. Staying near train stations can help save time, especially when carrying luggage. You're definitely going to want to bring stuff back with you, so if your airline allows two check-in bags, I suggest trying to keep one luggage completely empty and put a carry-on size inside or pack a carry-on size duffel bag to save extra space. On average, you'll walk 15 to 30,000 steps a day, so comfort over fashion will help you save unnecessary foot pain. Make sure you don't overbook yourself. There's so much to do and see, and having a bit of wiggle room to explore and do side quests can make your experience much better. Make sure you pack travel essentials like battery packs and a luggage scale to avoid overpacking and overweight fees. Although a lot of shops and restaurants accept card, you will definitely find yourself needing cash, mainly at small shops or local restaurants. Make sure you carry a decent amount of cash. Pro tip, 7-Eleven ATMs accept most international cards. Having your IC card on your Apple wallet will allow you to simply tap to pay without having to unlock your phone. Japan uses a large number of coins for smaller denominations and without a coin pouch, these can quickly become unmanageable and hard to keep track of. I hope you found this video useful as these are some